Hey everyone and welcome back to the final summary video for the six week Latte Art Bootcamp series. This week I'm going to answer some of your Latte Art questions and give you a few extra tips to help you improve your Latte Art further. Now for starters, thank you so much for all of the comments and pictures you've been sharing over the last six weeks. It's been really great to see some dramatic improvements in your Latte Art from before we started the bootcamp to now only five weeks later. Considering that a lot of you are just making coffees once or twice a day on a home machine, uh, the amount of improvement we've seen in just a few weeks has been awesome. Now one thing that I would like to remind you all is that sometimes your home machines don't quite have the same boiler pressure as a commercial machine. And I would like to say thank you to Lamazoko for lending me the Linear Mini to create this series. I've obviously had a lot of experience pouring latte art, but having proper equipment to steam perfect milk and pull great shots makes things look a lot easier than they are. So let's get into some of the questions and videos from the Coffee Fusion community. This first video was from Janelle a few weeks ago now, and their latte art has actually come a long way over the last few weeks, but they asked why this sometimes happens in the cup. I'd say in this video there are a few things going on, but it looks like the milk is separated in the jug, which is why a big blob falls into the cup all at once. And I think this separated milk in the jug also made it hard to set that crema at the start of the pour. Now milk can separate for a few reasons. It might have been left too long while the shot was extracting. It might have been heated a little bit too hot, or it could just be because you're using either a lower quality milk or reduced fat milk. Now I've seen a couple of pours from Janelle in the last couple of weeks where this same problem wasn't really happening. So it looks like they've sorted it out. So in this next question from Lucas, they were asking if latte art is possible with a single boiler espresso machine. Now it definitely still is possible, it's just a little bit more tricky because you have to either texture the milk or extract the shot first, you can't do them at the same time. So no matter which one you do first, give both a good swirl and knock on the table before you try and pour. This will help to break up the espresso a little bit and to keep that milk combined together and then you'll be able to pour your latte out easier. This next question from Dutch about milk texture consistency is one that a lot of people struggle with, especially on a domestic machine, and it can have a dramatic result on your latte art. The biggest thing I can recommend with your milk texturing is that the movements you make are really small if you have your wand in the correct spot. Also, the biggest change to my milk consistency was when I started keeping an eye on how much the volume of milk was increasing in the jug. For your latte art, as soon as you've got about a one centimeter increase in the jug, you have enough air to pour your pattern. If you're struggling with your milk texture, definitely make sure you've checked out the six week home barista bootcamp episode on texturing milk. Now, this question from Jessica about tilting the cup when you pour was another really good one because the angle that I was shooting with made it hard to tell if the cup was on an angle or not. You definitely need to hold your cup on a bit of an angle for most of the pour when you're pouring latte out and that's to help to get the spout of the jug close to the crema. Now you can either do this by holding the cup in the air or if you're not as confident doing that, you can still sit it on the edge of the bench and still pour with an angle to the cup. This angle in the cup also helps to give some depth in the espresso shot which makes it a lot easier to uh, pour without splashing out the crema when you're first starting your pour. One last thing which I never mentioned in any of the episodes is how to hold the cup so that when you've finished your pour, the cup handle is sitting the correct way for the coffee drinker. In latte art competitions, it's actually a requirement for the cup handle to be at the uh, 90 degree position so that the pattern is sitting and facing the correct way for a coffee drinker if it was a right handed drinking the coffee. So when I hold the cup, I hold it so that the handle is facing out and that's the correct way to hold the cup if you're pouring left handed like I am. But for most of you who are probably pouring right handed, make sure that you either hold the cup by the handle or at least have the handle pointing towards you when you're holding the cup. If you do this, it'll mean that when you finish the pour and put the coffee down, it will be facing you. So these are all the answers for the questions that I have at this point, but I'm sure you probably have a lot more questions. So feel free to put those questions in the comments below and I'll keep answering them for you. If there's a whole bunch of them, I'll uh, do another video in the future, uh, pointing out some other answers to your latte art questions. Thank you all so much again for all of your support on this series. I know there's lots of latte artists or aspiring latte artists on this channel. So all the new subscriptions and all the likes on the videos have really helped a lot. Remember, if you're in Australia, you can always show your support by grabbing your next bag of beans from me, and that's coffeefusion.com.au. I was also thinking about potentially starting a Patreon. A lot of the international viewers say like they wish they could support the channel in some other way other than just subscribing. Now, on the one hand, I don't want to feel like I'm asking for money for what I do, 
But on the other hand, I know that some people really enjoy supporting the creators that they watch. So, if you consider becoming a patron, could you let me know in the comments below? Also, you can let me know what you'd like to see as potential rewards or different tiers, and if there's enough interest, I'll set one up. As always though, thank you so much for your support on the channel, and I'll see you next week for that linear mini review. Keep frothing!